Magic here and here we are for the very last pack of the entire Mirkwood cycle. And this is Massing of Osgiliath, which technically isn't part of the cycle, but I call it the cycle. See, the way I define the cycles is, it's sort of like the pattern. Uh, deluxe expansion, uh, AP, Adventure Pack Cycle of six, a pod, and then a saga box. So, so the way I term the Mirkwood cycle is basically core set, the uh, six packs, and massing of Gilead. And technically, I suppose the first Hobbit, but I include that in the Daredelf cycle. So Daredelf is Kazadoom, the Hobbit saga. Battle of Lake Town, and of course the Daradelf cycle. The Shadow cycle is uh, Hon, the uh, Shadow six pack cycle, and the Black Riders and the Stone of Inch, whatever it's called. Anyway, whatever. So this is, but this is the last of the entire Mirkwood cycle, and we've done really, really well. We have, in fact, not lost a single game on camera, not once. And I am not, uh, I mean, the plan was to show you the errors, so I just haven't had any. I mean, well, I've, I've done some, you know, errors, but uh, I haven't actually lost any games yet. But I very well may in this one, because this is a quite a tough expansion. Uh, well, let's, uh, before I do the shuffling and talk about the quest. Let's actually look at the quest cards. Starting with... What is it? Three... Four... Three... Two... One... Okay, so starting with uh, one. There are reports of increased orc activity around Ithilin. I don't know how to pronounce that. Ithilin? Ithilin? I should probably... Maybe I should load up my Lord of the Rings movie and just see how they pronounce it. Ilithin. Whatever. Ilithin. Uh, let me start again. <laughs> the reports of increased odd activity around Ilithin. And, uh, there are important... Uh, God, I can't speak. I'm completely unable to talk at the moment. Let's try it. One more time. There are reports of increased orc activity around Ilithin and you have been sent out to investigate. You enter Osgiliath and cross the river. On the outskirts of the city, you see a horde that surpasses all expectations coming down the Morgul Road. And here's B, sad. Seven quest points. As the van of the army enters the city, some of the horde's outriders are aware of your presence and head in your direction. Drawing back, you make a hasty retreat towards the river. Players cannot travel to West Bank locations. So this is an extremely thematic and fun quest in my opinion. Basically what's happening is we've been sent out to investigate Osgiliath and, uh, oh wait, I, thought, I should read the setup instructions as well on uh, part one. Uh, search the encounter deck for 12 scouts cards, scout cards. <laughs> Man, I am unable to speak. Add three per player, one for each title, to the staging area. Remove the Witch King from the encounter deck and set him aside out of play. Shuffle any unused scout cards back into the encounter deck. So this is a pretty, this is pretty harsh. Let's have a quick look at the uh, Witch King. He's a badass. Now he's at 40 threat, which isn't so much of a, so we don't really need to worry about him. He is a 666, which is a bit of an in-joke, I guess. Uh, and really, you know, modern questing, 6 tack isn't too hard to, to deal with, like in modern decks. But remember, we're only using the Mirkwood cycle. So that's the first cycle worth of cards plus the core set. So it's a bit hard to deal with, though we are going to deal with him in a combat way. Now, he has 6 defense and 11 health, so we need to do 17 damage to take him out. Now, let's have a look at his player effect, because it's very important. Players cannot play attachments on the Witch King. That's just so you can't use, uh, you know, that uh, forest trap on him. While the Witch King is in the staging area, each character gets minus one will. 
Now this is really bad because what happens is the whole it's really thematic. So this whole quest is we travel we sneak into this city, we across the river and then oh my god there's a huge army and then we're, we're chased out and we've got to run all the way back to Merith Tirith. So while we're on one side of the river we can't travel to uh, West Bank locations because we're on the East Bank and then there's actually I think it's part three of the quest we're actually in the middle of the river crossing it getting shot at by archers and stuff and then when we're on the East Bank uh, West Bank sorry we can no longer travel to East Bank locations and we've got a and part four is a massive 15 quest all the way home so it's really important not to have the witch king in the staging area but take a look at his forced effect after the witch king attacks he returns to the staging area unless the defending player raises his threat by three so that's uh pretty harsh so we want to basically take out the witch king as quickly as possible once we're in the position to so that's what this quest is all about. Here's the three, uh, the three scouts we have to deal with. Right, so this quest is all about controlled questing with this deck anyway. This deck doesn't get particularly good scores, but it can get very, very good scores. It just depends on how good the draw is. Because the card pool is so small, this deck has to make do with a lot of uh, sort of splashing through all the different spheres. And in fact, this is a four, a four, a three, no, this is a four sphere deck. This has tactics, leadership, <laughs> spirit, and law, which is very unusual. And the problem with that is the deck works, but if it doesn't fire, then we're in trouble. And there is a high chance of it not firing. So the way we get around that is by questing as slow as possible. We want plenty of time to get the deck set up so we can handle the last stages of the quest in an easy manner. Now, the way we do that is that we do not want to quest we, we want to stay in stage one for as long as possible without raising our threat to some ridiculous amount. But remember, threat isn't really a problem. The only real cards that are going to be a worry to us are, well, really none of them. I mean, the Lich King is at stage 40, but we want to engage him the first time we see him anyway. And there's a couple of sort of big boss kind of guys and they're pretty high threat. But this guy here at 35, we want to stay under 35 until we get the encounter deck under control. And that way we can pick off all the, all the characters. So yeah, it's, it's going to be a little tricky, especially in the opening first couple of turns. And one of the key cards that our player deck needs, let's do one cut and we're ready to go. One of the key cards that our player deck needs is the ability to cast Burning Brand. Burning Brand is the key card to this entire deck, probably followed by Eowyn and then followed by uh, Unexpected Courage. But without Burning Brand, there is no way we can win. So we either need Burning Brand in our opening hand, and that's preferably, or we need Burning Brand to be drawn in the first couple of turns, or it's going to turn bloody fast. Now, the, this deck has a fairly decent win ratio versus this quest, as in, you should win most of the time, but when it fails, it fails miserably, and it fails quickly. So this could be a very, very quick game. So if this video looks extremely long, it's probably because there's actually two attempts or more on this video. So make sure, have a look down at the, uh, if you don't want to be surprised, don't. I mean, if you want to be surprised, don't look, but if you want to skip ahead, I usually put the, uh, like a little, you know, time codes that you can jump around the video at the start. I mean, in the description, be fun. 
Okay, so let's see if we can actually do this without doing mistakes. I've had some pretty horrendous mistakes in some of my videos, but uh, hopefully that will be a thing of the past. Anyway, uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's see if we can uh, get this uh, party started. And cut. One, two, three, four, five, six. Faint axe. Thingo, 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 thingo. Okay, so this is actually a very good hand. We have our faint, which is a key card required to deal with the Lich King. We have our axe, which is a key card required to deal with the Lich King. We have a song. And we have a steward, and we have a uh, unexpected courage, and we have a greeting. So this is a fantastic hand, and I really want to keep it, but we do not have Burning Brand. But apart from that, I don't think we have a, we could possibly, unless there was a Burning Brand in here, we could not possibly hope for a better opening hand. Uh... So I'm going to go completely against what I was just saying and actually keep this. Let's draw the seventh card. Oh, 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 oh yes! <laughs> it's a burning brand, baby. That's what you get. So you risk versus reward. It's all about risk in this game. Oh yeah. Okay, we're cooking with so much gas now. If I lose this, I will be upset. Okay, so here's our heroes. We have Eowyn, Denethor, and Gimli, which is unusual for me because I'm not a, I don't really like tactics very much. And in fact, I find tactics to be very bad for solo play, at least at this stage of the game. Once the card pool grows a bit, tactics becomes more viable, but, and it's, it's overpowered for multiplayer. Still, even though we have a great hand, we are still, uh, we're still not in the best of positions. And what I mean by that is, we, uh, well, we kind of, uh, it's a very risky first move. So let's, let's do it. Four, this could be game over. Flip this over. Okay, so this is, uh, an East Bank location, okay? And so we're on the East Bank at the moment. If the players have not crossed the Wanderin, which we haven't, Ruins of Osgiliath gains plus three. Okay, so that is actually four threat. Okay, and there's four threat in the staging area. So we start at 26, and we're at zero turn. So we go straight to 30. Uh, yes, yeah, uh, straight to 30, that's right. Yeah, oh God, what is this? These things confuse me for some reason, these twisty things. Okay, so, so there's four, one, two, three, four, plus four. So that's a pretty harsh opening move. It could be worse. Now, we drag this over here, and we're going to attack. These guys both attack us. Remember, that's 35. Now comes, I'm, I'm just going to pull out this power cord from my camera. Oh, hopefully. Right, anyway. So now comes the most scary part of the first turn. Uh, now this has, this guy attacks a four, and he is at 27, and he is at one threat. Now the way you work out threat cards is that the first card drawn always goes to the card with the highest threat. And we're going to leave him undefended. So, flip! Nothing. Whew. Like I said, it's a very panicky first turn. So, four damage undefended. We put four damage on Gimli. Now, Gimli has an ability that says Gimli gets plus one attack for each damage token on him. And that takes him to six attack, which is boss. And then we're going to tap Denethor and flip this guy. Flip. Nothing. One attack, three defense, no damage. We then tap Gimli. 
and we kill this guy outright because he is only four, uh, one damage, three health or whatever it's called. Okay, so that's our first turn and it went pretty well. This goes to one and this goes to uh, turn one. And we draw a card, flip, and it's another axe. You go to two, you go to two, you go to two. So, we cast that and put out Burning Brand. We couldn't ask for anything better. And we're going to... Hmm, how are we going to do this? I'm going to give him another two... Okay, so we are going to spend one and place out Song of Kings on Aowen. And then spend two and place Steward of Gondor on Aowen, which we then tap to give her two back. Okay, now optimally we want the Song of Kings to be on Denethor because there's very few lore cards. He is literally just in here for Burning Brand and some uh, a counter deck scrying. And then we're going to cast two and put out Unexpected Courage on Denethor. Okay, we're all still on shot now. Right, and then we're going to tap Denethor and we're going to see what's coming next. And it is a West Bank location for one. It's perfect. Okay, so there is two in the staging area, and there's two for this location. So that is one, two, three, four, five, which is pretty much fine. So we're going to quest for four. This guy comes out. So it's one, okay, so this one, by the way, this one, because it's a West Bank location, it, it gets plus three after we've crossed the Udan. Remember what I was telling you about the river? Such an awesome quest. Okay, so that's one, two, three, uh, and we get one location on here, four. We'll just get rid of that, because that doesn't matter anymore. And then we defend with Denethor, and then we draw a shadow card. But remember, we've now got Burning Brand out, so this instantly gets cancelled. Let's just have a look at Burning Brand, which is just like bonkersly awesome. Attached to Law Character. While attached character is defending, cancel any shadow effects on cards dealt to attacking enemy. So... Basically, shadow cards are instantly discarded. It's hugely powerful. And then we, I'm not going to tap him because he's got so many dice in it, but I'm going to tap Gimli and kill that guy. And we can see we've already got the board under a lot of control and we're looking good. Okay, so we're now in turn two and we are now in turn uh, 32 threat. We draw a card, and what we want now is some allies, please. But no, that's not what we're getting. So we get three, we get one, this goes to two. And even though we can start casting our axes, we're not going to. And that's because in this deck, there's quite a lot of treacheries that make you discard all your allies. And Apart from that, the treacheries are rather benign, so there's actually no tests of will in this deck. I've decided to swap them out for uh, ally cards and for attachments and things. So what we want to do, Bjorn is in this deck, he's a six cox tactic ally and he's vital for killing the Lich King because he hits for eight by himself. So once Gimli's got six, once we get an axe on him, and we've already got an axe, uh, we only need an axe, oh, we've got both our axes, so we'll be able to kill the Lich King as long as everything goes to plan. But, uh, we want to be able to cast Bjorn at the earliest opportunity, so he's on the table and safe from those treachery cards. 
So we're going to save up these resources and only start casting axes once this is at uh, six or more. So once this, got, once this gets to seven and we can cast an axe and leave it at five, which means next turn we have six, so every turn we can play Bjorn, that's when we'll start casting the axes. But we are going to just cast this and oh, discard the right card for three and drop our threat by six which takes us to 24 mm -hmm. uh, 26 I can't count but this these dials confuse the hell of me. I don't know what it is, but it's something about looking at the numbers swi swiveling by confuses me. It's so embarrassing when I make these videos. Right, anyway. <laughs> uh, 32 to 26, right. Uh, okay, so first thing we do, tap down Thor, see what's coming next. Okay, it's wolves, that's fine. So we tap for Four wolves come out. That's one, two, three, four. We discard burning brand for five, which makes puts one quest on here, and now that is discarded. And then this guy attacks. We defend with Denethor. We reveal a card, of course, it's instantly discarded. Now these guys attack for four, he defends at three, so he gets one damage. We attack for six, this guy is destroyed. Okay, and that's the end of that. Turn three, 27. Okay, let's draw a card, Flip. Another burning brand, my god. That's uh, pretty bad. Right. So you get three, you get two, and you get three. Tap Denethor again. Reveal. Okay, so this is one of those treacheries I was telling you about. Let's have a quick look at it. Doomed one. When revealed, each player must discard all ally cards from his hand if able. But look, we don't have any allies in our hand, and that's how the deck is built. So we're just not going to care about that. And that means there's three in the staging area. We have no choice for questing, so we're going to quest with four. This gets revealed. So we have doomed one, so that goes up. And the rest of the effect fails because we have no allies. Okay, then we choose to engage this guy. We tap with Denifor. He's defending at three. This guy's attacking at three. He gets a card, but of course he has uh, Burning Brand, so it's instantly discarded. And then we attack for six, and he defends at one and has four health, so he only needs five to kill him, so he is also destroyed. Untap, yum tap, yum tap. This goes to four, and this goes to 29, so all we need now is some actual cards. There's our healer. That's good. So this goes to six, this goes to three, and this goes to four. Spend three, put out our healer. Tap Denethor. Okay, so this is a new enemy. He's not a scout. Uh, he's a Wayne Rider Captain, whatever that means. Easterling. When revealed, move the top scout enemy from the encounter discard pile to the staging area. Top two scouts instead if the players have crossed the Anduin. Now we could send this to the bottom of the deck, but we have no need to. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to let that happen. So we know that the top, if we look at the encounter discard pile, the top scout is the Easterling, which is that one there. The Whatever, that one there. Oh yeah, that's the one we just killed. And that's its shadow card. So it's that one there, which we can defend quite easily. And that is two in the staging area. And this guy is three in the staging area. So that's three, four, 
five, six in the staging area. So we are going to quest for four, five. This guy gets released, which brings this into the staging area. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're questing for four, five. Discard the other brand for six. Remember, Aowen's ability allows the discard a card to add plus one will. No threat gain, no threat loss. That's all very well and good. So, we then are going to... Hmm. Yeah, so we're going to attack, uh, attack this guy. We're going to defend with Denethor. Again, card comes out, gets instantly discarded. Three attack, three defense. We attack with Gimli and he's destroyed. Bang. Untap. 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 Five. Thirty. Draw a card. And there's Bjorn. You get three. You get one, and you get one. Okay, so, let's see what's coming next. Uh, there's no scout areas in place. That's a bit upsetting. So, unfortunately, this could be dangerous. So we have, we want to keep Bjorn we could cast him next turn, but there's going to be a surge, so we don't know what's coming next, and it could very well be... Uh, did I put that at the bottom? I didn't. <laughs> oh, wait. No, we don't want to put that at the bottom. because Yeah, sorry. So we leave that at the top, and... Uh, so it could be another one of those discard or ally cards, but we can't do anything about it. But what we so we may as well spend the two, even though I said I wasn't going to. That takes us down to three. Uh, no, we're, no, we're not going to do it. I want to get Bjorn out. Hopefully, it won't matter. Okay, so we're going to quest for four, five, draw. There's no scouts in the staging area, so this gets plus, this gets surge. Bang. Whew. Beautiful. Okay, so that is one, three, four, five. Requesting for four, five. Okay, so now we are going to attack this guy. We defend with Denethor. It gets a card, which is instantly discarded because of Burning Brand. We attack for six, which three, four, five, six, which only puts three damage on him, even though we needed four, which is why I wanted to cast that axe, but I was more worried about getting Bjorn out. Okay, so let's untap everybody. We go to six, go to 31, draw a card, we get another three on you, we get one on you, and we get one on you, which we then spend, and we put out Beyond, and we are pretty much ready to start questing for the win. We've got everything else we need. We've got our axes, we've got our faint. Okay, so, let's tap, see what's coming next. Oh, and there's that card, which is fine. We're going to leave that there. So there is one, one, this is two, yeah, one, two. So I'm just going to quest for four. Revealed. It's the same one of those cards which says doomed one, Dunk. and discard or allies. Of course, we have no allies. So that's going to place one, two, three, four on here. Then this guy attacks, we of course defend with Denethor and then attack with Gimli. He gets a shadow card which is instantly discarded and he is now killed. 
You untap, untap, this is discarded. Technically, it goes like that, uh, like that. And okay, turn seven, 33. So, all we're looking for now is some more cards. Okay, so you get another three. You go to three, and you go to one. So you spend two, and I'm just gonna tap you straight away. Flip. Spend one, put out Hammer Math. And then tap you, see what's coming next. It is a surge. Now the reason why I didn't place the other one out, see this one here, if I look at it, says when revealed until the end of the phase, each card revealed by the encounter deck gains doomed one. Doomed three instead of the players of Cross the Anduin, which we haven't, but it's doomed one and surge, which means unlike the other card, which also surged, this one adds doomed one. So we may as well stick this at the bottom. Go to the bottom. And now we're doing a blind run, which is never fun. But still, we're not too worried. So, let's quest for, oh, smack the camera. Let's quest for four. Reveal. It's a location. It's a nasty location. It's an East Bank location, so we can track to it, but uh, uh, travel to it, but check out the effect. It's five to pass. The first scout enemy revealed from the encounter deck each round gains surge and doomed two. That's pretty harsh. Still, it's one, two, three, four. We're questing for four. So we're just gonna leave it like that. That's fine. Then we tap, uh, then we travel to that location. I can fit all my guys in. Travel to that location. Let's move these things all down a little. And then we tap Denethor, see what's coming next. It's another one of those surges with the Doom keywords that goes on the bottom. And now we can tap Henemarth and have another peek. And it's another location, which is perfect because. Uh, Uh, that surge won't trigger. And then we're going to tap you and just remove one health. Let's go to turn 8 and let's go to turn 34. Draw another card. Blip. Beautiful. Okay, so this goes to 6, this goes to 1, this goes to 2. Okay, so we spend 4, which takes us down to 2 and put out our, uh, whatever that guy's called, thing I face. We spend two and put out Deradelf Axe, Ooh, chink, which gives us another two attacks. So we're now attacking for eight. And I'm gonna tap Hemimath straight away, draw another card. Oh, it's a location, so we're going to spend one, a Manathem, and stick the Manathem on this location. And we know that there is a one threat coming out, okay? So we're going to have one, two, three in the staging area, and we have five here. So we need five, six, seven, eight. We need to quest for eight. So that's four. I don't know why everyone's tapped. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just going to. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Out it comes. It's a location. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which is five, which is what we need to pass. So this gets discarded. This gets discarded, 
And because ancient Mathem was discarded, we draw three. One, come on, two, three. God. Okay, also, because we tapped uh, a tracker, we get one, and we get one. And we're pretty much ready to start cruising now. So let's tap you, draw a card. Uh, it is an Opgilius location which has three. So that is going to be one, three, four, there's going to be five in the staging area. So we're going to leave that. Let's untap everybody. Go to nine. Go to 35, draw a card, and tap you, draw a card. Ah, oh. well, it's not got everything we want, but whatever. Okay, so you get three, you get one, and you get one, and we are going to cast two, put out another quester, and that is all we can do. Tap Denethor, see what's coming next, I've already done this, yes I have, sorry, I've already done that, that's the uh, location, there's five in the staging area. So, we go one, four, five, Six, seven. Okay, so we're going to go seven. This goes to two. This goes to two. This goes to one. These are both discarded because they only have two, uh, whatever you call it, quest things. Actually, this is a huge mistake, which uh, I'm quite embarrassed about. That was actually a Palantir field, or whatever it was called, which has seven quest points, not two. And it has a forced effect, meaning that once we cross the Anduin at the very end in stage four, you are forced to travel there. Still, even so, it's not going to affect the game greatly because as you can see I'm completely questing and only using a few of my guys. It really would not make a difference. Unfortunately it is uh, quite a huge error though. So for the rest of the game there's always one extra threat in the staging area. Oh well, then the breaks. And this is bought out which actually has four. So I counted that all wrong. So that's four Five, and we're questing for four, five, six, seven. Five, six, seven, which is another two, takes that to four. Okay, so why are we questing so slow? Well, the reason we're questing so slow is we're trying to dig out these ranges, and you'll see them when we get to the point where we see them. But, so we tap that, next card. Uh, we're gonna stick this at the bottom because we're trying to find these ranges. Then I'm going to tap Denethor, next card, it's a scout, may as well leave this guy at the top. And we are still at the east bank, so I should have actually, oh, yeah, so I should have travelled to that location, which I forgot to do. And well, we're done, so that's untap, untap, you untap, you untap, you untap, you untap, you untap. This goes to 10. Bonk. And 36. Let's draw a card. Shink. Uh, we go to get plus 3, plus 1, plus 1. We spend that 2. And we put out our other axe. He now attacks for 10. So we are able to kill the... I'll just do this so it's a bit easier to see. So if you're wondering how we get to 10, remember Gimli gets plus 4 because he's got 4 wounds. 
Gimli gets plus one attack for each damage token on him. Now he starts with two damage. So four plus two is six. And then we have two axes. And the axes read, attached hero gains plus one attack. Plus two instead if the attached hero is a dwarf. So that's six plus four is ten. So he's attacking for 10. So we can kill the Lich King in a single shot now. We've got a feint so he doesn't even attack us. So we, we really should start making progress on the major quest now. So let's just tap you, draw another card. Beautiful. We're going to spend two, go to three, put out another courage. And we're pretty much cooking with Mega Degas now. So there's two here. And there's one coming out. We still haven't got a ranger though. That's why I'm slowing down. So, we're still looking for a ranger. So there's going to be one, two in the staging area. Three, four. So we're just going to quest for four. Five. Out comes the card. It's a scout. One, two, three, four. Five. This is discarded. Oh, I forgot to quest with you. Sorry. Yeah, I tapped the wrong freaking card. Yeah, four, five, that's right. So this goes to two. This guy attacks, we defend with Denethor. Of course we get the Shadow card, which is instantly discarded, then we attack with Gimli, and that's discarded. We then tap Denethor again, see what's coming next. It's another location, let's send this to the bottom. Tap Denethor again, next card, it's the Surge, put it on the bottom. Tap Hammermath, and there's a Ranger, finally. Okay, so, everyone untaps. 11, 37, draw a card, it's a Gandalf, <sighs> let's tap you, draw a card, it's another Courage, you get 3, you get 1, go to 4, and you get 1, okay, so let's spend another what is it? Uh, two. Put out the third courage. And we know an Ithlian scout's coming next. We only need two to pass this. So that is, what, one in the staging area, which doesn't even matter. So we're just going to quest, just to be cheeky, we're going to quest with one. Oh yeah. One, you say? Yes, one, damn it. Oh no, actually, it's got surge, doesn't it? So we quest, let's just quest with four, five, six, seven. Let's be safe. Come on, I don't want to be screwing up. The Ithlian scout comes out. Now let's take a look at this scout. He is actually an ally objective, but it was before they had ally objectives. 2212. When revealed, the first player takes control of the ranger, exhausted and committed to the quest, then the ranger gains surge. So that goes there, next card. Oh, I forgot to use Gandalf. God, I'm an idiot. Oh well, Gandalf is discarded. You're discarded. That's it, and we go up by one threat. Okay, so I missed a five threat reduction. Keep, oh, damn, I forgot, damn it. Okay, so that's enough to pass this. So this gets kicked off and we are now in 2B. The Outriders and Scouts of the Army have cut you off from the bridge. You desperately seek the likeliest place to cross the Anduin. Let's flip it over. Players cannot travel to West Bank locations. Each player cannot play or put into play more than one card from his hand each round. And I knew this was coming and I meant to actually cast Gandalf in the thing because you cannot play or put into play. So if you play a card and playing sneak attack is playing a card, that means you can't then put into play Gandalf because that's two cards. 
So I knew that was coming. I meant to cast him, get the three five fret reduction. I'm so annoyed. Oh, by the way, we attacked here, so uh, that goes to three. So this is discarded. Okay, so we've got four Denethors. So first Denethor. Boom. Okay, that goes on the bottom. Second Denethor. Boom, that goes on the bottom. Uh, well, we're going to leave that at the top. Okay, so that's that. Let's untap. Let's untap. Let's untap. Let's untap. Let's go to a 12. Go to 39. Draw a card. Tap. Draw a card. You get 3, which takes you to 4, 5, 6. Seven, you get one, and you get one. We're going to cast you for two. Put out another quester. That's all we can do. We know what's coming. So let's just uh, quest for, what do we need? Five. So that's uh, four. Five, out it comes. Boom, discard any allies. We don't have any allies. Doomed goes up by one. 40, wow. Usually in this quest, if you're doing it right with this deck, you're down near like in secrecy levels. So, yeah. Oh. Okay, so that's discarded. We quest for four, five. There's five to beat this stage, so it's beaten. And we now go to 3A. Okay, so we're almost finished. The cold waters of the Anduin River rush before you, but the current is weaker here and you have to cross. The Outriders and the Van of the Dark Lord's army are closing fast behind, and their archers will make the attempting crossing even more dangerous. The bravest members of your band turn back to the scraps to distract the oncoming horde so that the rest of you might escape. Okay, and here is the other side. Notice there's only one quest point, but check out this ability. Progress tokens from card effects cannot be placed on the quest card or the active location. Players cannot travel to East Bank or West Bank locations, because we're actually in the river at the moment. Like, check out the picture. Uh, but we can still put tracker stuff on the uh, locations in the staging area. It's only it says uh, the active location. In order to commit characters to the quest, a player must first choose a hero or one ranger card he controls, discard each chosen card from play. So, that's why we had to get the ranger out, otherwise we'd have to discard one of our heroes. We now have four scribes of the count deck. So, let's pick it up, have a look, let's see if we can get the other ranger going. So, first unexpected courage. Oh, and it's the ranger. Beautiful, let's just leave that there. And now we untap, go to 13, go to 41, draw a card, beautiful. All right, and you go to, what, six plus two, you go to six and you go to three. Uh, let's tap you and draw a card. Now note that the restriction on playing one card is gone because that was actually only in uh, in 2B. Okay, that was the restriction of playing one card. So we can play multiple cards now, which is good because we've got resources coming out of our ears. Uh, so we are going to spend three resources, one, two, three, and place out the scout. Then we're going to spend four resources and suck greeting back into our hand and then cast it again. So that's one for tomb, three thing, and drop our threat by six, which takes us to 35.
And now we have to do careful planning. Firstly, we have to discard a Nithlian tracker to quest. Oh, wait. And I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure it's an it's encounter guard. When it discards, it goes into the encounter deck. We know another one's coming, so we're questing for at least two. So let's quest for four. We need to hit the Witch King, which is 10 plus 8, 18. So we only need these two guys to kill him. So we can quest with everyone just to be safe. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to quest with you though in case I need to heal. May as well quest with you. Even though, because we've got three, four scries, uh, three scries with Denethor. Okay, so this card is revealed. It is the tracker which is added. This gets surge with oh, worst card we could possibly get. So we go through here and pick out the topmost scout, which is this guy, and that gets added as well. So let's have a look at exactly how that worked. That was horrendous. I knew I overquested. God, I'm an idiot. Uh, how did this work? Oh, yeah, this guy. This guy says plus three. And it says, when revealed, move the top scout enemy from the encounter discard pile to the staging area. Top two scout enemies instead if the players have crossed the Anduin. And as of yet, we have not crossed the Anduin. So one scout comes out. Now, we've quested tons. We're questing for, like, massive amounts, way more than we should have. So that was really stupid of me. This gets discarded. This guy comes out. And we're now at four. Yoing! Oops, I forgot to read the uh, quest card here. You made it across the Anduin and are leaving Osgiliath when a fell shriek splits the air. You begin to race across the Planor fields to the safety of Mirith Tirith, but a new enemy follows behind. When revealed, add the Witch King to the staging area. Yoink! Players now have crossed the Anduin. Players cannot travel to East Bank locations. If the player defeats the stage, they have won the game. So we've got 15 quest points to run home. Now we need to deal with all these monsters. First thing we're going to do is we're actually going to engage the Witch King. We are forced to engage this guy and we don't have to engage this guy. So um, we're not going to. So, the Witch King has the highest threat, so he gets the first card, and then the, uh, this guy gets the next card. And then we're going to spend one resource on Gimli and cast Sneak Attack to camp in the combat action. The enemy cannot attack this phase, well, attack this one player this phase that's got Narada. So what that means is this card's instantly discarded. It doesn't do anything. And he doesn't attack. And because he doesn't attack, his effect doesn't trigger. Which uh, says here, after the Witch King attacks, return to the staging area, unless you pay three. Well, he didn't attack, so we don't have to do that. Okay? Then we're going to tap Denethor. Flip this guy over, which of course is discarded because he's got Burning Brand. Now, we attack with Gimli for 10 and we attack with Bjorn for 8. Now Bjorn, he only has 3 written here, but he has the text which says Bjorn gain plus 5 until the end of the phase. At the end of the phase in which you trigger the effect, shuffle Bjorn into your encounter deck. So we're attacking for 18, the Witch King is 17, so he is destroyed. Uh, and unfortunately, we can't actually kill the other guy, so he stays engaged. Oh my god, I was so out of room. Let me, uh... He's engaged with us. 
Okay, and then we're going to tap two, and we're actually going to heal a bit because we don't need all that power now. So that takes him down to uh, three. Yoink. Right. Uh, okay, we've got one, two, three scries left. So let's check it out. Next, foom. Okay, so this is an East Bank location, but check out the text now. If the players have not crossed the Anduin, Ruins gains plus three. But we've crossed the Anduin. We're actually on the other side of the river now, so this stays as a one threat location. So that's fine. Okay, so that's the end of that. This goes to 14. This goes to 36, and I'm sorry I'm playing so badly. We should have a much better score than we do. Draw a card. Uh, this goes to, we'll just leave a tab, stop it. Let's draw a card. Oh, finally get some marks, not that we needed them. Uh, and then we'll tap you, and draw another card. Another faint, not that we need it. Okay, so you get three, takes you to four. You get one, you get one, and we are just going to cast one, takes you to three, remember she's got the song, and we'll place uh, the warning on here, which gives him four defense, and that is literally all we can do. So, uh, we know that there's a location coming next. There's going to be four in the staging area. We need to get 15. This guy is shuffled back into our deck, which means that this would have been shuffled. Okay, so I stuffed up then. Let's make that four. This goes back into the deck. This goes here. Uh, I think the Mathan was the other one I drew. Right. God, that was terrible. Anyway, uh, so what happened? This guy gets shuffled into our deck, so we're supposed to put this into our deck and shuffle it. Which we forgot to do. Not that it's going to make any difference at all. It just might affect our final score. Okay, cut. We draw one, and then we tap him to draw another one. Ugh. Whatever. Okay, so we know that there's going to be four in the staging area. So, we go four. Five, six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 14, this gets revealed. Oh wait, actually we don't want to tap you, do we? I want to use him to kill the thing. 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. So this gets revealed. Okay, so that's 3, 4, and we're questing for 4, so that one's done. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, so that's, yeah. What? Is that right? Four. Done. Four. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's better. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So we're still at 36. So what we're going to do is we're going to, this guy's going to attack. We defend with Denethor. Oh wait, this guy gets a card. Blunk. This guy gets a card. Blunk. We defend with Denethor. This is revealed. Of course he's got Burning Brands, so nothing happens. Attacks at three, defends at three, nothing. And then we tap Denethor again. Kill. This guy attacks. He attacks for one, defends at three, no damage. We then attack for five, six, seven, eight which kills this guy. Boom. 
and then we attack for one, two, and that kills this guy. Flick. Untap, untap, untap. <laughs> untap, yuntap, 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 yuntap. 37, 15. Draw a card, tap, draw a card, Gandalf. Okay, so. You get three, takes you to six, plus one, you get one, and you get one. Tap you, see what's coming next. Uh, oh. Stick to the bottom, tap you, see what's coming next. Stick that on the bottom, tap you, see what's coming next. And it's a location. Now this location says, if I can get it in focus, if the players have crossed the Andoran, which we have, captured Watchtower gets plus three. So that's going to be five in the staging area. I think I forgot to put a thing on that, didn't I? I can't remember. Doesn't matter. Right, so there's five in the staging area. We're going to cast... Uh, Five, place out Gandalf, drop our threat to 32. We should be five less threat than we are, but I screwed up. And you know what I'm gonna do actually? I'm just gonna risk it, it's not gonna matter. Uh, what are we, five, six, seven? Instead, I'm going to draw three cards. One, two, three. Ah, oh. I was, I was thinking if I was lucky, I'd get a, I'd get a, uh, a grab, a, a greeting, and if I was really lucky, a greeting and a tomb, and then I could drop my threat twelve. Ah, it doesn't matter. So. That's the game, so it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We know that that card's coming. Ten, ten, okay, so. Yonk. So that is, bang, that comes out as four, so there's five in the staging area. This gets one. Five, and we're questing four, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, which smashes this, and that's it. Massing up of Gilead, absolutely trounced. Now, you can see this the deck functioned pretty much perfectly, except for I did a few misplays, so we could have got a much better score. We finished on turn 15, and we have 37 threat, which technically we could have gotten a lot lower. if we, We'd have 10 lower if we played properly. Where the hell are the other ones? They're right down, there's the other tomb. Right, right down the bottom, so. Anyway. Uh, well, that's well, that's massing of off gear Hope you guys liked it. Now, I wanted to talk to you. Uh, basically, I've been limiting my decks to the cycle. So we're going to start Daradelf next, which is Kazadoom and the whole of Daradelf and the Hobbit sagas. So we're going to have quite a lot of new cards. Now, if you do, you want me to stay with restricted card pools, or do you want me to open up just the entire card pool? So that's up to you guys. I think Restricted Card Pools might be a more interesting series. But anyway, so the next next one is the Daradelf Cycle, which occurred Kazadoom, Daradelf uh, APs, Stone of Ench, and the two Hobbit Sagas. So, uh, well, I'll see you for those guys. Thanks for watching my 
Mirkwood videos. Hope you enjoyed them. As always, the decks are posted online at Card Game Database. Uh, well, that's about it, isn't it? See you guys. Thank <laughs> you.